And now before going to the next muscle, it's better to sheet the needle again to avoid sticking the patient and sticking yourself. So I, I did that, I put this by the side. And now I need to identify the next muscle, which is the flexor carpi radialis muscle. It's usually right here. In order to activate it, I ask her to point your fingers to her elbow. And as soon as she does that, then I know where that muscle is. I can feel it because it's tightening up. Now relax. So I know that the next place I'm going to stick the muscle is going to be right here. So I take the needle out here and I stick the needle right here. Here we go. Now I'm inside the muscle. And of course, to go to the next muscle, I press next. So when we're looking at the flexor capillary radialis, you can tell that the picture here on the screen show you where we press, where we insert the needle and also, of course, shows you the cloud and what the potentials should look like. And now I'm going to start to see if I get insertional activity. And again, I just, I'm trying to find out, here we go, if there is an activity that persists. Again, here she's contracting a little bit, and I can relax it. Relax a little bit more. If you twist it in, that will relax. And sometimes you can't, no, no that, that's perfect relaxation. Here we go. You can see the spike. And they must stop as soon as you stop. So now the next step is to actually have her activate the muscle slightly. Go up just a little bit with like so, with the thumb. OK, very good. Now slight, not much. And again, I, now you see where the dots are falling in the cloud. So now the next one is to have her activate the muscle a little bit more. And now it's a bit more activation. And now pull up all the way. And it's a bit more activation. And they all are falling. Most of them, the great majority of them, are falling within the cloud. So that's normal. Now I'm done with the flexicopy radialis. <laughs>